Hello, and welcome to the Jacksonville Humane Society Volunteer Information Session. Today's topics include the history of JHS, JHS policies, perceptions of animal welfare, the volunteer commitment, the essential capabilities of volunteers, all the volunteer opportunities at our shelter, group volunteering, and what the next steps are. This session is for individuals 18 and up who have graduated high school. Any volunteers 16 to 18 that are still enrolled in high school must join through the Youth Volunteer Program. And kids under the age of 16 can attend camp or join our Positive Reading Program. Any court-ordered or attorney-advised community service cannot be completed through this program. JHS History JHS was founded in 1885. We moved to our current location on Beach Boulevard in 1920. In 2007, we did unfortunately lose our shelter to a fire, but one week after the fire, JHS was open again and worked out of temporary buildings for the next decade. In 2012, the animal hospital opened. In 2014, we achieved No Kill Jacksonville. And in 2017 was the grand opening of our new facility. JHS Today. Each year, we serve nearly 9,000 animals. And last year, over 4,000 of those animals were kittens. We offer a variety of services, including pet adoptions, veterinary services, our pet help services, which include the pet food bank, behavior assistance, temporary boarding, and veterinary care, humane education and youth programs, volunteer opportunities for individuals and youth groups. We are a 501c3 nonprofit. We do not receive any state or federal funding, and our programs are primarily sustained from gifts from individuals and grants that we apply for. Some of our biggest supporters are PetSmart Charities, Purina, and the Petco Foundation. JHS Buzzword. No kill. No kill does not mean we do not euthanize animals. We do not euthanize for space, and JHS will never euthanize an animal to make room for another. In the lifetime of every pet, there may come a time when an owner must decide to humanely euthanize an in-suffering due to a medical condition or extreme behavioral circumstance. Since pets at JHS do not have owners, we take on that role and take those decisions decisions very seriously. We are very proud to report that in 2019, we had a 95% save rate for animals who came to our shelter. Open adoptions. Studies have shown that old fashioned methods can be discouraging and discriminatory. The adoption counseling process is an opportunity to educate Jacksonville's pet owners. Managed admissions. Due to space constraints, we are unable to take every animal that comes to us. Animals are surrendered by appointment after working with one of our pet help service counselors. We offer a variety of resources to keep as many pets out of the shelter as possible. No breed labels. At JHS, we believe that every animal is an individual and should be treated that way. Did you know that a dog has approximately 20,000 genes, yet less than 1% of those determine what they look like? On all of our camp cards and online, you'll see our animals are listed as mixed breeds. What is it like to volunteer? Myth number one, you must play with puppies and kittens all day. Busted, it's not just working with animals. We have a variety of other roles as well. Myth number two, I don't know how you do it. It's just so sad. Busted, you see way more happy than sad. These photos are all families getting reunited with their pets. The reality of volunteering is that there's not one area of the shelter where you aren't working with people. Most of the work is physically demanding. Working with pets at the shelter is not the same as working with pets at home, and volunteering is extremely rewarding, and JHS appreciates each and every one of our volunteers. The volunteer commitment. New volunteers commit to coming once a week for the first three months or more. Shifts are flexible and are typically one to three hours long. We do ask that if you sign up for a shift that you keep the commitment. The volunteer program fee. The one-time program fee helps cover the material costs of the program, such as t-shirts, name tags, logistics software, and administrative supplies. This allows our financial resources to be spent saving animals. Essential capabilities. Physical requirements. Standing for long periods of time, walking, bending, kneeling, and crouching unassisted, use of both hands simultaneously, lifting, carrying, and moving varying weights. Professionalism. We ask everyone be a team player because everyone here loves animals and no one here loves animals more or less than any other person. We ask that you maintain a professional appearance, positive energy when volunteering, you're able to follow instructions, and you follow all policies, procedures, and objectives of JHS. Miscellaneous requirements include meeting the volunteer commitment, 
willing to help staff and be independent, willing to take instruction and be flexible, access to internet connection and willing to learn and utilize Vologistics, have the average vision, able to work with cleaning chemicals, and agree to adhere to the social media guidelines. Following directions. We have training procedures in place to provide the best possible care to the animals, and volunteers must be able to follow instructions, including areas of the shelter. There are some areas that you cannot go unless you have specific training. Animals with protocols. Some animals do have specific protocols that we must be followed to a T and low stress training and handling techniques. We use positive relationship-based training here. Areas of the shelter to volunteer. Adoption education center roles include dog walking, cat enrichment, adoptions greeter at the front desk, animal care support, administrative tasks and data entry, kids programs such as camp and birthday parties, helping at major events such as Mutt March, Toast to the Animals, and off-site adoption events, and group volunteering. Pet Help Center. These roles include pet food bank, administrative tasks, pet help center greeter, foster office support, and our shelter medical area. Our veterinary services opportunities include customer service support in the front, hospital medical support in the surgery area, and foster clinic support on weekends and evenings. Group volunteering. We host groups of five to eight individuals every morning to help walk dogs and provide cat enrichment. Some companies have matching programs as well. So if you wanted to see if your company has one, you could go to matchinggifts.com or doubledonation.com. You can also ask your company. If you're interested in having a group out to volunteer, please visit our website, jackshumane.org volunteer and head to the groups section. The next steps to volunteering. Sign up for an orientation. So after reviewing this information, please head back to our website at jackshumane.org slash volunteer to sign up for an orientation. We have dog orientations. These are approximately three hours long and train you to become a dog walker at our facility. Our cat orientations are about two hours long and you will be trained to help in cat areas, which also includes the foster department. Please remember that nothing you choose is set in stone. You can always start in one area and then expand in the future. So if you want to start out as a dog walker, but then become cat trained later, you are more than welcome to do so. It's just a great place to start. If you aren't quite sure what area you would like to volunteer or you're interested in non-animal roles, please reach out to our volunteer team at volunteer at jackshumane.org. Please be sure to include your name, some contact information, why you want to become a volunteer, and what areas you're interested in if you know. We will then plan to meet one-on-one -on -one for a discussion to review different roles and discuss any questions that you may have. More ways to help. You can always adopt, foster, donate, and advocate for shelters. Time of change. Please be patient and kind to all as we learn and grow together. We're continuously looking into training opportunities and additional enrichment to the animals. Thank you and have a wonderful day.